Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to uh, design a set of press-on nails. So here I'm just going to remove the shine. So I'm just going to use a black buffer and just rough it up a little bit. We want to remove the shine so that the gel polish that you're going to be applying on top will have something to adhere to. If it's too smooth, it won't stick and it'll just peel up. This thumbnail seriously gave me the hardest time. It just wanted to keep falling off of the nail stand and eventually I just had to hold on to it and like work around my own finger. Okay, so next I'm just gonna take a file and uh, shape up the free edge of the nail. I'm gonna get that little plastic piece that's always at the tip of um, the nails, I'm just gonna file that off and smooth it. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just wipe off any dust that's left over. All right, so next I'm just gonna take a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe, and I'm gonna run that over the entire surface of the nail. This is just going to remove any leftover dirt and dust. It's also going to remove any of the natural oils or lotions that may have been on my hands that I've now put onto the nail tips. And I'm just gonna go in now with a thin coat of, um, uh, what did I use? The Gelish uh, Foundation. Uh, some people say that you don't have to do this step, that you really don't need a base coat for your gel polish on your press on nails. However, if I'm gonna be selling these and I'm gonna expect somebody to wear them, I really want to make sure that that gel polish is going to stay on and it's gonna stay on well. So I'm going to do this extra step. I make sure that it's a thin coat. It's not going to be, you know, too thick on the nail. It's not going to look funny. I just really want to make sure that for my customers and my clients that their polish is going to stay on the press-ons. So I always do this step. But like I said, some people say that they don't need to do it, that the polish lasts without it. But just for my own peace of mind, so I like I to do it. So I did go ahead and cure that in my LED light. Now I'm showing you the polish colors that I'm going to be using. So this is Madam Glam Fancy Bikini. Next up is going to be Madam Glam Just Like the Sand. And then the other two are going to be Madam Glam's Perfect White and Perfect Black. I'm just gonna go in with a thin coat of the Fancy Bikini. And I really make sure that I focus on the sidewalls. The last thing I wanna do is get done with a set and then realize that, you know, I wasn't paying attention to the side and I have missed a spot and then I have to go back and fix it.
Next for the pointer finger, I, or I'm sorry, the ring finger, I'm going to go in with Madame Glam's Perfect White. Now this is the middle finger and this is Madame Glam's Just Like the Sand. what design I was doing or, or what colors I was going to be using so I ended up going back into Fancy Bikini and also doing that on the pointer finger. So Fancy Bikini is on the thumb, the pointer finger, and the pinky finger. Once I cured that in my LED light, I went in with a second coat of all of the same colors. And I decided on the pointer finger, I just wanted something other than the plain fancy bikini. So I'm just going to take my blending brush and put a little bit of the, just like the sand right at the tip of the brush, or I'm sorry, at the tip of the nail. And I'm gonna take that brush and just kind of feather it in and smooth it out so that I get a little bit of a gradient um, glitter effect. And now I'm just gonna go in on the, what one was that? The ring finger. And go in and do a little flower just off, off to the side. So I've got a couple different colors um, on my palette. And I'm just gonna take light little strokes. And I always do my outline really thin and really small and light so that it's a lot easier to clean up and fix if I make any mistakes. Once I have the outline done, I'm going to go back in and just fill in all of those petals. I'm going to cure those uh, in my LED UV light. And then once that's done, I'm going to go back in with um, a light black outline and do a little bit of detail work with the uh, glitter color and the white polish.
And I decided I wanted to do some little like spiral dots coming off of the flower petals. But once I was done with that, right before I cured it, I decided I didn't like that many of them. I had put too many on. I really just liked the one uh, swoop of them. So I kept those and then I went in with my Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat, top coated, cured them, and then I will show you the final look in just a second. And here they are guys this is a really cute and simple um, set of press on nails I think they look awesome I'll um, add in a photo at the end of me wearing them so you can actually see what the different colors are I know sometimes the lighting is weird um, with my camera so I'll insert a picture right here hold on so here they are in a little bit of better lighting so you can actually see them a little bit better in the design. Also, please excuse any little cuts or cracks that I have on my hands. I do have eczema and I have a flare up, so I apologize for that. I know it doesn't look the best, but thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.